Good morning and welcome to another day of learning with Miss Tia. Today is hmm, Thursday, April 2nd. Good morning and welcome to another day. Oh my goodness, do I look silly today? What have I got here? Oh my goodness, what is on my head? Oh my goodness, I have ears and I got some big eyeballs. All right, let's get started with our day. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to who's out there today? Addison. Good morning, Addison. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to who else is out there today? Is Ari out there today? To Ari. Good morning to you. Good morning, Ari. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to McKinley. Hi, McKinley. Hope you're learning your letter K this week. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to... Hmm. Who else is out there today? Piper. Good morning to you. Good morning, Piper. Thanks for joining us. All right, I'm going to take my silly glasses off now because they make me look really silly and it's hard to see with them on. But if you're okay, I'm going to keep the ears on. I think that's cute. All right, so today we're going to start with making some of our lowercase letters. We've been working on our uppercase letters for the last few days and last week too. So today we're going to start with some lowercase letters and how to properly make them. So let's see, since I have ears on me, guess what is going here? <gasps> what is this? It is a basket filled with some eggs. Oh my goodness. I think we're going to have to see what's inside those eggs today. All right, so let's find the first one. Hmm, here we go. A nice blue egg with some bunnies on it. Hey, they got ears like me. Shake, 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 shake. All right, let's open it up. Uh-oh, I've got the letter E. All right, so I'm going to put this here on my board. Oh, oh, no, it's the wrong spot. All right, my letter E. E says S, S, S. All right. So letter E, we're going to make, let me get my marker here, hopefully you have your paper and your pencil ready to go and ready to write some letters today. <coughs> Goodness, I need some water. Alright, so for our letter E, what you can do is you can draw these lines on your paper. Sometimes it makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to, but you can. So this top line here is our skyline. It's way up in the sky. So I'm going to write sky. You could even draw a little cloud to show that it's the skyline. Our next line here, my dotted line, is my plane line. So the sky, way up in the sky, and the planes kind of fly just a little bit lower. So we have our plane line. So you might even draw an airplane here to show a plane. And then our line here is our grass line, so where the grass grows. So you could draw a picture of some grass. So I'm going to draw some picture of some grass here. Here's my grass. And our last line here is our worm line. Under the ground, so under the grass, into the dirt. So I'm going to draw a picture of a worm maybe. Or a worm. So it's kind of like a little squiggly line worm there. Alright, so our letter E. Our letter E kind of starts here. Um, right between the plane line and the grass line. So what you do for your letter E, there's two ways you can make your letter E. The proper way to make your letter E is to draw a straight line across, just like that. And then we go back to this and we're going to make a, kind of like we're going to make a C. And we're going to go up and around down to our grass line, letter E. Okay. Now there's another way you can make it, which might make it a little easier. So you kind of call it, we call it the magic C, because a lot of our letters have a C in it. So here, if you just take your E and you just make your C, just like you would make a C, and then you can connect your line to it. So a straight line across and then connect your curve there. 
So that's another way you can make it if it makes it a little easier. This is the correct way, one straight fluid motion um, over, up, and around. Okay, letter E. Let's see if I have a letter E here somewhere. Oh, I do. Letter E, there we go. And an E is for an elf. An elf. We might see, some of you might have an elf on a shelf that you use it at, um, around December time. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right, Samantha, can you grab me a bottle of water? Thanks. All right, so E is for elf. Now I'm going to write the word elf. So E, I'm going to use this E here that we have. An L, so we come up here to our skyline, and we make our line straight down to our grass line. Oh, thank you. And now we make a letter F. So we're going to go back up here to our skyline, and we're going to make a little curve at the top. And then we make our straight line down, and we draw our line across. So here's our word elf. E for elf. Eh, eh, eh. Okay? All right. So I'm going to erase that, and let's go to our next letter. What is our next letter here? So let me fix this. And let's see, I choose another egg. Shake, shake, shake. This is another blue egg and it has some nice red and green squiggly lines on it. Oh, our next letter is the letter A. A, A, A. A is for alligator. All right, so let me draw my lines back on here. We have our skyline, our plane lines, and our grass lines. So for the letter A, letter A says A, A, A. Here's my letter A here. And the word there says alligator. And here's a picture of our alligator. So you can draw a picture along with it as well. All right, so our A, again, is another one that has kind of like the magic C again. So you can make your C starting at the plane line. And you go down to the grass line, and there's my C. Now the second part of this, you're going to make a little line connecting your curve there. Okay, so we go back to the plane line, and we go up to the plane line here, and we make our line straight down to the grass line, and there is a letter A. Now, usually you would like to make this in one, one fluid motion, so you don't pick up your pen or pencil. So I'm going to do that and show you how to do that as well. So what you do is almost like a circle. So you, make, you go up to the plane line, you start here, you go all the way around, connect to your, the top of your circle, don't pick your pen up, and then you're going to make your straight line down to the bottom. There you go. So two ways that you can make an A, both of them are fine, as long as you know how to make an A, a lowercase a. All right, so A is for alligator. So if you'd like as a challenge to write the rest of the letters in the word alligator, you can along with me. All right, so alligator, so A, and we're going to make two L's. L's are lowercase L's are straight lines. So I'm going to go up here to my skyline, and I'm going to make my line all the way down to my grass line. I'm going to make one more. So A L L. Now I need the letter I. So I'm going to start here at my plane line, make my one little line and my dot here on, above it, a lowercase I. And then we're going to make a G. A G again is another one that we use, kind of like the magic C again. It's kind of like you're making the letter A, except you're going to go down here below the grass line and make like a little curve or J underneath, okay? So here's my G, so I'm going to go all the way around for my letter A. I'm going to come down, but instead of stopping here at the grass line, I'm going to continue down to my worm line, and I'm going to make like a little hook there. So it's kind of like a J down here on the bottom, okay? So here's my G. Hopefully I'll have enough space here for the rest of my letters. So A-L-L-I-G, an A, a T, oh my goodness, I'm running out of room, T, O, and R. Oh. All right, <laughs> sorry, I had to make it a little smaller, I couldn't fit. So alligator, A-L-L-I-G-A-T. So we start at the top, the skyline, go down to our grass line, and then we make a line here in the plane line. Our O is just one big circle, and then our R. So we have our one little line and a little curve at the top. Alligator, okay? So let's move on to our next 
letter, lowercase letter. So if you can, you can draw a picture to go along with each of your letters as well. Okay, kind of memorize those. All right, so let me fix my lines here. So we have my skyline, my plane line, and my graph line. All right, so let's see what our next letter is here. I think I'm going to go with a little pinkish purple, kind of like a lavender egg with some little lines on it, yellow and red. Shake, shake, shake. What do we have inside? We have the letter N. 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 Like nurse. Or, here's my N. It says the word nest. Here's a picture of a nest. What kind of animal lives in a nest? A bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. All right. So I'm going to put my N on my board here. All right. So for our letter N. We're going to come here to the plane line and we're going to make one straight line down to the grass line. And then we're going to kind of go back up and make like a little curve and back down. So we're going to kind of curve around the plane line and down to the grass line. Okay. There we go. Letter N. And again, this is another one that you want to make in one straight line um, movement. But for showing you, um, I'm doing it in two different um, sections. Okay. So I'll show you again the letter N. So I start at the top here at the plane line, go down, back up, around, and down. There's my letter N. Now an N is for nest. So E S and T. Nest. Okay, nest. Alright, let's do another one. Let me erase this here. And we'll go and pick another egg. All right. Hmm. I picked a yellow one. And it looks like it has like little flowers on it. So we have this, the, the stem here with the leaves and the little flower there. All right. So let's open it up and see what we found. Hey, we found the lowercase s. All right. So s, we're going to start. This is one of the letters that starts up at the skyline. And continues down to the grass line. All right, so our letter S, so we make a little curve here at the top, make a straight line down, and then we have a little line right across the middle there at the plane line. So that is our lowercase f. Um, now f, let's see here, f, there we go, letter f is for flower. Can you make a picture of a flower? All right, so I'm going to write flower f. L O W. Hey, we had W last week. W E and R. Flower. And you can draw a picture of your flower there next to it. So, flower. The F says. So, you kind of have to use both your teeth and your lips for this one to make the. For flower. Okay? All right, let's do one more. So let me erase this here, and we will go to the next letter. All right, let's see here. Hmm, let's see what we found. Oh, another lavender egg with the little squiggle lines on it. And we found our letter of the week. Yay, the lowercase k. All right, so I put my lowercase k up there. And K, here we go. This is a capital K, but that's okay because it kind of looks exactly the same as our lowercase K. And K is for kite. All right, so for our lowercase K, we start here at our skyline. We make one big line down to our grass line. Then we come here to our plane line, and we make two diagonal lines, one to the middle and back down to our grass line. K, lowercase K. And K is for kite. So kite, K, I, T, and E. Hey, look, we got the E in there, and we have our K. All right, kite. K is for kite. All right. Now, you can also um, practice your uppercase letters to go with those. Now, out of these lowercase letters, only one of them has the same looking um, lowercase letter as the uppercase letter. All the rest of these have a different looking 
um, uppercase letter. So let me show you. For the E, the uppercase E looks very different from the lowercase E there. This one has straight lines, this one has curved lines. Our uppercase A is also a straight line and it looks very different from our lowercase a. Our n is kind of similar except we're missing, um, we don't have any curves in our uppercase n. We have our straight lines in like that. Um, and then our f is also straight lines. There we go. But our k is the, exactly the same except that it's a little bit bigger. So we go to the top again and we make our k so it's basically the same, just our, our lines come down just a little bit flat, uh, lower. Okay? All right, so we have E, A, N, F, K. Okay? Those are our lowercase letters for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And um, if you have any eggs at home, you can always go and try to do like a little hunt with if you have um, some of these letters. Oops, they're right in front of me. If you have some of these magnetic letters at home, you can put them in your eggs and you can do like a little scavenger hunt around your yard and see, and you can come and bring it, I found the letter E or I found the letter F. Or you could even match them. Your mom could, hi, your mom or dad could write the letters down and as you find them, you can match them and put them on um, the letters as you find them. But I have lots of these at home, these eggs, my girls love eggs and putting things inside and hiding them and finding them and surprise eggs. So that's a little fun game that you can do at home. All right, our next part of the video, we're gonna do a shape game. So see if you can find some shapes around your house. So the first shape that we're going to do today is the triangle. The triangle has three sides, one, two, three, three sides to our triangle. Now, for me, I could only find things around my house that were food items. So hopefully you have better luck. If you can find something else in your house that's a shape of a triangle that is not food, please take a picture of it and put it in our comments. I would love to see what you found, okay? So, let me, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> let me share with you what I found around my house. So, Triangle. This is something that you eat. All three of my objects are something you can eat that are triangle shapes. So my first one is a slice of pizza. So you have one, two, three sides to your pizza. Now my pizza here is a vegetable pizza. It has green, uh, green, green peppers and black olives and mushrooms and tomatoes. Mmm, delicious. My next piece of food that I found around my house was a slice of peach cake. Mmm, delicious. So it also has a one, two, three sides to it. Now I've had my dessert too. I had my dinner and my dessert. Alright, the last thing I found in my house, I know this is, all seems like junk food. <laughs> Nothing is healthy here. Well, I guess our veggie pizza is healthy. It has got some vegetables on there. The last thing I found in my house that would be the shape of a triangle are some chips. Maybe you eat these chips. These are called Doritos. And they are the shape of a triangle, the triangle chip. So, triangle. There we go. Nice triangle there. Triangle starts with the letter T. T, t triangle. Okay. Alright, so our next shape that we're going to talk about, let's see if you can find around your house would be a circle. Put that on our board here. So a circle. A circle doesn't have any sides. It's just a uh, curved line goes all the way around. Sides are kind of straight lines. This has no straight lines on it. So a circle. Things that I found in my house that were a circle. Maybe you can find some things. This was a little bit harder, but I did find some things. Again, <laughs> some more food. Don't judge me. We like junk food. My kids like junk food sometimes, too. So, especially when we're stuck in the house, what's better to eat than some junk food? So, we have some cookies. Anybody eat these cookies? These are called Oreo cookies, and they are the shape of a circle. Very good. All right. The next thing I found in my house 
we have some coffee cups. And if you can see the bottom here, it is a circle. So we have a circle there. The next thing I found, because we have Play-Doh, if you take a look at the lid for my Play-Doh, it is also a circle. And then my daughter found one more thing. It's like a keychain, but if you take a look here, it is the shape of a circle. So all kinds of different circles I could find in my house. What kind of circle shapes do you have at your house that you can go around and find? All right, so our next scavenger hunt item for shapes, let's see, we have a square. A square has four sides. We're going to count them together, ready? One, two, three, four sides to our square, and all four of those sides are the same length. They're equal in length, so square, all sides are equal. So this one might be a little hard to find some things that are square in your house. I was able to find a square book. One, two, three, four sides, all sides are equal. And I think I found one more thing. If I can, oh, yes, of course. We've been using these in our videos the last few days. It is a square block. So you can see one, two, three, Four sides, all sides are equal. So our square block. All right, our next shape is a rectangle. Our rectangle is kind of like a stretched out square. So if you think of a square and you take the two sides and you stretch it out like this, my two sides on here are gonna still be the same size. But my sides on the top and the bottom, because I'm stretching it out, are going to be a little bit longer. So let's count. We still have one, two, three, four sides. But if you look at the top and the bottom of my rectangle, their lines are just a little bit longer than the sides. The sides are the same length, but they're short. And our top and bottom are the same length, but they're long. Okay? So things out, oh, sorry, things I found in my house that were rectangle. I found, let's see, here's my rectangle. You'll notice that this card is a rectangle. It doesn't matter if it's standing up or laying down. It is still a rectangle. It has our four sides, one, two, three, four. And it has two short sides and two long sides, okay? The next thing that I found in my house, man, everything is food here. <laughs> We love food, can you tell? All right, so the next thing I found that has a shape of a rectangle is the front of my box here. So we like our chocolate chip waffles, very good. All right, so the front of the box here is the shape of a rectangle. So it has one, two, three, four sides, two short sides, and two long sides. Now this can also be because it's not a flat shape. Flat would be like this, so it's flat. This shape here is actually um, a rectangular prism. It's a 3D shape because it has some depth to it. So it's not just a flat, like a piece of paper. If you turn it around, it has no, nothing, no depth to it. But this shape here is a rectangular prism. So it has, it's a 3D shape, so you can see all, if you turn around, you can see all sides of it. Now if you look, the front of my box is a rectangle. If I turn it to the top of my box, it's still a rectangle. If I turn it to the side of my box, it's a rectangle. The back of my box is a rectangle. So all sides of it is a rectangle, but I can turn it around and still see my rectangle no matter which way I turn it. It is a rectangular prism, okay? All right, uh, something else I found in my house that was a rectangle was a CD case. So this one is actually a game, but it's still, uh, you might have like a DVD or a CD or something inside, okay? So this one is a game that we like to play at home. Um, it has one, two, three, four sides, my top and my bottom are the short sides. 
um, and they are shorter in length, but they are equal top and bottom. And then my two sides here are longer and they are also equal in length. Okay. Now, one other thing I was able to find that was a rectangle in my house is a tissue box. So the tissue box, if you look, is the um, shape of a rectangle. Now they also make some of these that are, would be the shape of a square. You would just kind of cut it in half there. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four sides, two short sides, and two long sides. Okay, so another thing that would be a rectangle. So we're only going to do the four shapes today. There's also, well, maybe we'll do one more. Let's see if I can fit it on here. Let me move my, my shapes around here and see if I can fit this one in here. This one here is called an oval. So it's kind of like a stretched out circle. So I said that our rectangle is like a stretched out square. Our circle is like, I'm sorry, our oval is like a stretched out circle. So you kind of take it and you stretch it out. See if I can fit it in there like that. So an oval. An oval also has no sides because there's no straight lines. It's just a kind of a roundish uh, curves. Okay. So our oval is like a stretched out circle. Some things that you can find. Now that one uh, might be a little hard too to find in your house. But we have a little magnet here that has an egg on it. E G G egg. Can you say egg? <coughs> egg. All right. So an egg. You might be able to find those in your refrigerator. Some eggs. And then of course they have more f more food. Oh my goodness. Um. I found a little chocolate Cadbury egg since it's going to be Easter very soon. So this is a chocolate egg. And then of course we have what we used from this morning or earlier in the video. We have our little plastic eggs. Okay. All right. So those are shapes. So let's go over them one more time. We have our triangle, oval, circle, square rectangle. So my challenge to you for today is to go around and do kind of like a scavenger hunt game and see if you can find some shapes around your house. You can take a picture of them, you can draw it, whatever you like to do and kind of make it like a little fun game. Kind of like you're a shape detective. Go around and take a look and see if you can find some shapes around the house. And again, I would love to see your pictures in the comment section down below. Take a picture. Um, you can make a list, draw a picture, whatever you like, and put it in the comment section below. Okay? Again, if you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up. And I will see you in our next video. See you tomorrow.